making a whole lot of noise. Whoa. going on everybody it's your boy rick one ball coming at you again with yet another exclusive now if you don't know what i'm doing i'm making sure i cover each and every nba game to provide you with up-to-date sports analysis as well as my opinion on these games now we got to get into this game the dallas mavericks versus the utah jazz game one of the playoffs in a best of four series one thing I want to say is that when you're an all-star, when you're a superstar talent, you have to show up for your team in big moments. And Donovan Mitchell, in the first half at least, he scored a whopping two points. I was literally looking for Donovan like, where he go, where he go, where he is? Mavericks, Jalen Brunson, uh, uh, who, who else? Uh, th th he was just playing on an awesome level. I think Jalen Brunson, to play with a guy like Luka Doncic day in and day out, uh, you have to be a special type of player to play with Luka Doncic, who's completely ball dominant. Now, with Luka Doncic being out with the injury, uh, Jalen Bronson has just been showing everybody what he can do. He's real shifty, real crafty. He gets his teammates involved, but he also can score that basketball. It was a little bit weird because at times I looked at the game and I thought the Dallas Mavericks had the game in control. And then here comes uh, here comes Donovan Mitchell. And like I said, he scored two points in the first half, but he was able to somehow, some way, he finished with 32 points. He turned it up another 30 points in the second half alone. Long. Said, although the Dallas Mavericks lost this game tonight, they have nothing to hang their head about. I felt like they got the, the Utah Jazz gave up two double-digit leads in the fourth quarter. I'm like, damn, do you want the Mavericks to come back and win this damn game? Because that's what I'm seeing. But somehow, some way, they was able to weather the storm. Like I said, Donovan Mitchell was the leading man with 32 points. I thought Mike Conley played some good, timely baskets and hit some good, timely baskets in that second half as well. And obviously, Royce O'Neal with the dagger three-pointer just straight ended. Straight ended the the, uh, the Dallas Mavericks, and we'll see what's to come. I still have the uh, the Utah Jazz. I have the Utah Jazz winning the series, even though it seems like the Dallas Mavericks are a better team. They're not. They're not a better team. I feel like the Utah Jazz should win this series, and if they don't, it's going to be a big indictment against them. I really appreciate you guys for checking me and rocking with your boy. It's your boy Rick One Ball. Like, comment, subscribe. Woo! I say I'm on, bro. Leave me alone, bro. I've been smoking so much weed, I'm in my zone, bro. Don't hit my phone, bro. If it ain't dope, bro. Dope, bro. Bill code, nigga, 254, ho.